Welcome! So welcome to Cranium Mushroom Stroganoff, an amazing, delicious, one of my favorite dishes. Yeah, this is satisfying, this is deep, this is umami, and this is an incredible crazy. It's one of my, I think it's one of the favorite dishes I've had recently. It takes 15 minutes to make, and it's one of Dave's favorite dishes. So our new book is called The Veg Box. We're so excited, it takes the 10 most popular veg, cooks them 10 ways using 10 ingredients or, ne or less. Go to the book is to get you to eat more veg, show you how tasty it is, save money Can while I doing it. something? Yes. Uh, this is in this recipe is in celebration of the mushroom chapter, which is all about, each chapter is done by one of the 10 most common vegetables. And the mushroom chapter talks about all things mushrooms, how we use them, everything we've learned about mushrooms over the last 18 years. And then we've got 10 of our favorite mushroom recipes using 10 ingredients or less. It is a game changer, it really is. Are they easy to come by ingredients, Dave? Oh, absolutely everyday common ingredients. And it's about saving you money. You will save back the cost of this book within a month because it's all about saving you money by using veg. Okay, without ingredients. further ado, let's cook a creamy mushroom with stroganoff. Okay, so first step, we're gonna put our pasta on to boil. We have how many grams of linguine? 250 grams of pasta of choice. Make sure your water is boiling. Make sure it is salinated. Make sure you have approximately two and a half tablespoons of salt per liter of salt water. Which sounds like a lot, but it's not gonna be absorbed by the pasta. It's purely just to make sure that it cooks deliciously. And it does season it from inside too. So in goes, we're using linguine. So while our pasta is cooking, we're gonna prepare our mushrooms. We're using simple chestnut mushrooms. You could use button, portamento, shiitake, whatever you like, but did chestnut you know, Did you know that a chestnut mushroom is actually just a small portobello mushroom? Oh my God! Woo! Did you know that? So, so chestnut mushroom is this brown one. It's quite a small mushroom, but if you let that grow, it would turn into portobello mushroom, which is a, a brown kind of breakfast. Can I show off too? Can I show off too? So knife skills, just take your mushroom, take it like that. Make sure it's always touching your hand. Just do, 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 so first thing, just take a little scoop of some pasta water and just leave it aside. This is to help with the viscosity of our sauce. Okay, time to cook our vegetables. So we have, to cook we have a wide bottom non-stick pan and it's really hot. We're, we're gonna, gonna add a tablespoon of oil and we're gonna cook our mushrooms and our onions. So mushrooms and onions are cooked. Time to add our garlic, half a teaspoon of salt and a little bit of thyme. Okay, we've got 60 ml of white wine. I'm gonna add it in and just cook it until all the alcohol will evaporate, so don't worry if you're concerned about alcohol. You wanna make sure and stir it so that all the, all the wine is absorbed by the mushrooms and really absorb all that delicious, sweet kind of flavor. Okay, I've got 250 ml of veg stock. I'm gonna give them a tablespoon of tamari. Take a baby whisk and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of just regular flour. The flour is just gonna bring it all together and make it nice and thick. This step is important because it's gonna make sure that there's gonna be no clumping of flour. Okay, time to add our veg stock tamari and flour mix to the pan. And we're just gonna cook this off for a couple of minutes just until it starts to thicken. Okay, in terms of flavor agents, I've got a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, I've got half a teaspoon of paprika, and I've got a teaspoon of mustard. In they all go into the pan. Okay, this is a fun, great tip. So take a full fat tin of coconut milk, we're gonna take a spoon and we're simply gonna scoop off the fat from the top. We're gonna to leave all the liquid in it or the water in it and just the fat. The fat is what's gonna really give this the body, the richness and deliciousness of this dish. Okay, most important step is to taste and season as you go. Take a clean spoon. Can I tell you? Oh, it's rich. I'd mm. say it needs black pepper. No, it's lovely. It's really it's nice. Like it's okay. strong, it's round. It's I'd like, say it's banging with it's flavor. It's banging. Okay, next step, we're gonna take our pasta and we're gonna add it in. We're gonna chop a little bit of uh, flat parsley, just add a bit of green, just to lighten this, because it is quite a rich, creamy dish, and the addition of a herb will just help add another dimension of flavor to bring more rain, comprehensive, and more the, full body flavor. The only thing I would think this dish is missing is a tiny pinch of cracked black pepper. Go for it. Okay, all that's left to do is to taste this delicious. So like, like it's a beautiful indulgent dish. It does take about 15 minutes. If you do want to make it slightly healthier, use wholemeal pasta, but it's, it's right. decadent. It's like, that is an amazing dish. Mm. We should serve this in the cafe. This is really, really good. Mm. That's so tasty, mm. it really is. And as I said, a tiny bit of a cracked black pepper. Next level. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic dish, I highly recommend you making it. Our new book, The Veg Box, is out. It's celebrating all things mushrooms. And you'll see it's a bigger one. If you've been watching our videos, now we have the real book. This is beautiful. This is decadent. We are Look, so... I'll show you the mushroom chapters. So the mushroom chapter is class. Look, mushrooms, tell you all about mushrooms, why they're fantastic. Some things which we said in the intro. Buying, storing, growing. And then we've got 10 mushroom recipes, which are super tasty, but less than 10 ingredients each. 
So it really kind of pushes the boundaries. The goal of the book is to take the 10 most common veg, cook them 10 ways using 10 everyday ingredients or less. So it's to help you save money, cook incredibly tasty, delicious recipes, and feed your family. Yeah, the goal is to really inspire people. So we'd love you if you're interested to pre-order it. It's on special. It is so buying. So if you'd like to support us, please, there's a link down below. So thank, thank you for you. watching. Bye. Thanks a million.